squeegee, squeegee. Hey guys, welcome back to another Futuristic Friday, episode three. Okay, so as my great-grandfathers said in the previous video, they got the footage all done and edited, and they sent it to me. So let's get started. Computer, load the screen. All right, not exactly sure where we are, but let's find out. Computer, start the video. Okay, all right. Big blue skies. Computer, that looks interesting. Why don't we, uh, why don't we reverse? And then we'll pause the video. Computer, can you please identify this on the screen? Okay, computer says that this is a pylon sign. A big, tall sign meant to be seen from a distance. Hotels, gas stations, and restaurants along a highway frequently use these. Okay, perfect. All right. Computer, please resume the video. All right. Where camera's just pointing up in the sky. Oh, uh, that looks interesting. Computer, why don't we pause the video and zoom in? Perfect. Okay. Computer, please identify what that thing is. Okay. Computer says this is called a canopy. A canopy is an overhead roof that is able to provide shade or shelter from weather conditions. Hmm. Okay. Perfect. All right. Computer, can you please uh, zoom out and resume the video perfect okay so we're walking along big blue sky on that day hmm must have been a good day i see something on the right side oh we're gonna get a good view of it that's good uh okay so computer can you please pause the video computer please identify that on the screen okay computer says that is called an illuminated pole sign a sign on a single pole that is lit up hmm. pretty similar to a pylon sign hmm. all right computer let's go ahead and resume the video all right let's move on to the next scene all right that looks interesting uh, computer can we reverse again and pause computer identify what is that on the screen all right Computer says that is called an ice box. An insulated cabinet or chest with a partition for ice. Used per for preserving or cooling food, beverages, etc. In this case, ice. Perfect. Okay. Computer, resume video. All right. So, it might be safe to say, I want to confirm this, but, oh, computer, pause the video. Hmm. I think we're at the gas station. Computer, please identify this thing up here. Computer says that that is a breakaway. A device that it detaches the hose automatically if it is pulled with enough force. Hmm. So if a car forgets to take the thing out of the thing, I'm not sure what they're called, uh, then and they drive away, uh, this thing will break away so that there's no more damage to the pump. Perfect. All right. Okay, computer, let's resume the video. Yep, there's a pump. I see it now. Okay. Okay, well, what's these things in the ground? Uh, computer, pause the video. Computer, identify what these are. All right, computer says that these are called bullards. Hmm, a short post used to, to divert or stop a vehicle. Yeah, that would probably do the job. All right, computer, please resume. Okay, we're getting a good look at the pump, but I guess we're going to move on. Okay, we're not going to look at it. All right, what are these things on the ground? Hmm, computer, pause. Hmm, it says safety station spill absorbent. Well, I think we know what it is, but computer, identify what is on the screen. A spill absorbent kit okay to be used in case of a spill leak or other discharge discharge of oil or gas so that a prompt response and cleanup may be performed hmm. so for environmental reasons they have to clean up the oil or the 
gasoline very quickly before it gets gets into the uh, the soil or into the waterway. So, hmm. all right, let's uh, let's move on. Computer, resume the video. Okay, oh, this thing. What is that thing? Oh, he's gonna pull it out. Okay, perfect. Okay, computer, pause. Oh, looks like he paused at the right time. I can see some water dripping off of it. Hmm. Um, computer, please identify this on the screen. Computer says it is a squeegee. Hmm, what a funny word. Squeegee. Squeegee. <laughs> Just say it, it makes me laugh. <laughs> All right. Uh, a scraping implement with a rubber edged blade set on a handle, typically used for cleaning windows. Okay. All right. So that must be what the water is for. All right. Perfect. All right. Computer, resume the video. All right. Moving along here. All right. All right. We're getting another good look at the uh, the pump, I think is what it's called. Oh, there's the uh, pole sign. All right. Well, computer, pause. Let's find out if that's what it's called, a pump. Computer, identify what is this on the screen. All right. Gas pump. All right. A piece of equipment installed in a gas station to dispense gasoline into the fuel tank of a motor vehicle. Mm -hmm. Okay, just what we had thought. Perfect. See, in the future, we don't have gasoline vehicles anymore. We only have electric vehicles. So uh, I don't know when in history that started happening, but I would like to see this happen sometime soon. Uh, okay, let's uh, resume the video. Mm -hmm. These gas stations are interesting. All right, computer, pause the video. Let's find out what this thing is now. Right there. Okay. Computer says that is a gas hose. Okay. Flexible hollow tubes designed to carry fluids from one location to another. Hmm, interesting. All right. Computer, resume the video. All right. Okay, now we're getting a really good close up look. Okay, computer, pause. That's interesting. What are these four things here? Computer, identify these things here. Okay. Uh, the computer says that these are grades of gases or gas grades. Okay. So we have diesel, regular, extra, and supreme. Uh, most engines of the time period are optimized to run on regular gas. Okay. Computer, let's resume the video. All right. Interesting. Interesting. No, computer, let's pause the video. What is this thing? Uh, computer says that that is called an intercom, an electrical device allowing one way or two way communication. Hmm. Sounds an awful lot like the walkie talkies that we learned about in our first episode. Uh, where my grandfather from the year 2020 taught me that uh, what he was holding was not a, not a walkie-talkie, it was an iPhone. Hmm. I'll link that video up above. Perfect. Okay, computer, let's resume the video. All right. Computer, pause. Hmm. Let's find out what this thing is called. Okay. Computer, please identify what is on the screen. Okay, this is what is called a gas nozzle, a device designed to dispense fuel. Okay, excellent. Okay, perfect. Uh, computer, let's resume the video. All right, taking a look around, nothing of interest over here. Hmm, a beautiful day. Let's pan to the right. Okay, wait, I see something. Computer, pause. All right, I'm going to show you a trick now. I'm going to teleport my great-grandfather in the video across the street to find out what those things are. Okay, watch this. Computer, teleport. Okay, we're across the street. I got a better view of that thing across the street. I see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, maybe nine of these things. Okay, 
Let's go and see what kind of reaction my great-grandfather had to being teleported for the first time ever. Oh, oh he's melting something. It's luckily that I am a expert lip reader. So, computer, how about we rewind and resume the video. What the fudge? Okay, he said, what the fudge? Okay. Hmm, I don't know what that means, but okay. Computer, pause. Let's identify what these things are. Okay. Computer says that these are called uh, Tesla superchargers. Okay. Fast charging technology for electric cars. <gasps> electric cars! Okay, so in this time period, electric cars were already here. Okay, so it looks like we're on the right track. Computer, let's resume the video. Alright, getting a really good close up of the Tesla supercharger. Alright, there's the connector. Yeah, let's, let's move on. Let's, let's go and see what else is around. Hmm, yeah, we see that it says Tesla. Alright. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, eight. Uh, this looks interesting. Computer, pause. All right. Computer, please identify what these things are. Okay, computer says that these are called electrical cabinets. Uh, an enclosure for electrical or electronic equipment. Hmm. So they must be for the uh, the electric chargers. Okay. All right, moving on. Okay. Uh, computer, pause. I see something else. What is this tiny little one down here? All right. Uh, computer says that this is called a transformer. A device which is used to either raise or lower voltages and currents in an electrical circuit. Okay. All right, computer, resume. Oh, there's something right next to it. Okay, computer, pause. Please identify these. All right, computer says that these are called switchboards. Okay, a device which contains switches that allow electricity to be redirected. Okay, very interesting. Computer, let's resume. Oh, hey, look at that over there. Yeah. Here, let's pause. Yeah, see these things right here? Those are more bullards. We just learned about those. Bullards. Hmm. Yep. Yeah. You probably would want to stop or redirect traffic not to hit those. <laughs> okay. I think that might be the end of the video. Let's resume. Yes, I don't really see anything else of interest. So, okay. So let's wrap this thing up. Uh, hope you enjoyed this video if you did please make sure you hit that like button subscribe comment to show some love peace hit that bell for notification oh wait a minute i'm about to say that right now hey guys i hope you enjoyed that video if you did please hit that like button and of course smash that bell for notifications and subscribe to the channel by smashing my face that face not this face Show some love down in the comment section too, if you feel like it. Thanks guys, peace.